Welcome to uh, Dive Bar's Pig and Riesling Tasting. We're about to uh, get into some serious Riesling and we're going to go through Rieslings from all around the world. Riesling is probably the queen of grapes. It's one of the most versatile grapes in terms of uh, the climates that it can be grown in successfully. So a lot of people have been asking why are you doing Pig and Riesling? Well, the owner of the Dive Bar's and I were sitting around talking about what we're going to do to to uh, try to surpass our wines of summer tasting, which was our best to date. Lee thought, wouldn't it be funny if we could just put a couple of big suckling pigs right on the table and we could just grab from those. And he was kidding, but I said, you know what, Lee, you're actually onto something there. It's gonna be delicious, it's gonna be a lot of fun. We're gonna have a great time. This is a little curry tofu salad, which looks delicious. Rosemary encrusted Spanish goat cheese. Here we have uh, some delicious uh, freshly sauteed asparagus and garlic. We're going to start with the uh, Charles Coley Van Delsas. It's an Alsatian Riesling. Next we have the Cold Creek Vineyard Riesling from Chateau Saint Michel, Washington State, Columbia River Valley. Very nice American Riesling. Move over to Vienna, Austria. And then we move into uh, two wines from Germany, from the Mosul region. And the Schmidtkies. This is the Erdener Schepkin Riesling Spätlese, which means uh, that it's going to be a little bit sweet, but I've tasted it, it's not too sweet. It's going to be nice, it's going to go great with the suckling thing. So this is kind of cool, I think I just thought I'd point it out, is the, the Charles Coeli Alsatian comes with a glass enclosure. This is sort of a new trend um, for a lot of, uh, for some reason it seems to be with a lot of Riesling and Gruner Veltliners in Austria. They've moved to this glass enclosure. It's pretty easy to pop off, it comes right off, and it sort of snaps back in. It makes a nice little seal, it's not going to drip, and you put it back in. And it's super easy to take in and out. It keeps the wine fresh. It's great. I'm a dive bar regular and I love it. Thank you. I live in the neighborhood and like to come here. And, uh, came here a week ago, met Nikolai, told me about it. I saw the sign. It's very laid back, easy going. Come here, enjoy some pork meatballs, some uh, cheese fries. Just take it easy, enjoy some good Riesling wine. Hey, you gotta get over here. We're having a great wine tasting at Dive 96th Street. Oh yeah, oh I'm here too. Oh yes, there's Bruce Willis is here, and oh do I see Brad Pitt. Oh, so many wonderful people are here. You gotta come, you gotta make it. I'm not sure what they put in here. There's some kind of syrupy glaze. It's got a little uh, pungent kick to it. Good stuff. Creek. Now these are all Rieslings, yes? Yes. Okay. So one is from Washington. Well, I thought there was a wine tasting for my old favorite, Boone's Farm. Instead I come here and it's just a bunch of Rieslings. Which happen to taste very good, by the way. <laughs> So we're having this wonderful Chateau Saint Michel. It's got this fabulous um, dry raisin taste to it. It's not not too sweet. Excellent. It's about people and friendship, and there's no better way to do it over a couple of good bottles of wine and good food, <laughs> and also to learn a little bit about the, the wine and the pairing. That that's the extra. Lynn makes these really, really cool t-shirts. I love a good screw. And look at this beautiful little cute logo. When it comes to Riesling and wine, and when it comes to... Hey, yeah, keep talking, keep talking. Want me to take the When it comes to wine, really, in general, there's nothing more complicated than German Riesling. I mean, this, uh, this wine is a cabinet level wine, which means that when it's harvested, it's the least amount of sugar legally allowed. And it's the uh, most enjoyed. This one's really good. This one's yummy. Is that the way it's before this tasting, I had a negative opinion of Riesling. Today, my whole idea of Riesling has changed for the better, and I have Nikolai Connick to thank for it, and the result has been just a, a premium experience. This is uh, the Schmidtkies Spätleser Trocken 2005. 
it's a 12 and a half percent alcohol. So this is it's got more sugar originally, but it's a dry wine. Anyway, I think everybody's drunk. So we got plenty of pig. We got a ton of Riesling. Seriously, everybody. I really did. Best $30 I ever spent. <laughs> Most fun I ever had my pants on. How about that? The pork was delicious. Uh, the cheesecake was good. Right? How many cheesecakes did you have? Two. <laughs> I like the asparagus. Big asparagus fans. Um, what else was there? The meatballs? We're out of this world. So we've uh, finished our fourth wine tasting in four months. We drank a lot of Riesling. We drank different kinds of Riesling from all over the world. Washington State, Austria, Germany, France, specifically Alsace. And I think everyone really had a good time. I think everyone got intoxicated, and that's always important. And uh, I think that uh, maybe even some of the singles here are going to hook up and uh, probably do some dirty things later, I hope. That's my hope. We hope to see you again uh, at the, uh, the next uh, dive bar wine tasting. I have a feeling it's going to be fun. Take care. Cheers. So this is fantastic. I mean, i got to come back again. i got to tell you, I'm tasting some of the best wines that I've ever had. The company is great. The food is great. Lee's pretty good too, but you gotta just check this stuff out. So, I hope to see you here next time. Really? Next time on Great Wines! <laughs> you got any questions, just come up to me afterwards. And hopefully I won't slur my answer to you. <laughs>